Hello gardening friends, welcome to Backyard Basics. I'm John Bromcool. So the gardener has a lot of different types of tools. You don't need a lot, but a, you know, a good shovel, a garden fork, a hoe, and um, some of these little pruners like this one right here. Oh, by the way, you need a good pair of gloves too. These gloves right here are very specialized gloves. They're for working with the roses. You ever stuck your hand in a rose bush and it just rips it coming out? Uh, brambles, uh, different things like blackberries, that would be another one. Anything that has thorns on it, this will protect you. These are called rose gloves. Look at the grip inside of there. Nice, strong, this isn't gonna wear out. And this is a double protection, so when you reach in there, you won't get the thorns in your palm either. There are many other types, and um, many of them have a, a rubber bottom on them so that they don't get wet. You ever had a pair of cotton gloves and they get all wet and then the rest of the work time, well, you just out there, you take them off, as a matter of fact, they get so wet. But many of these types, like these in here, um, have that bottom. The tops on these are a type of nylon so that they breathe. You don't want them to be all enclosed, uh, otherwise your hands get really hot during the process. So um, find one that works well for you. Find one that allows you to pick up tools easy. If they're a little bit too big, you're not going to be able to pick up things that you need to work with out in the garden. And so um, here's some leather gloves too. Look at how nice the leather ones are. These are just beautiful, beautiful gloves. And they last a whole long lifetime, but uh, you need to take care of them. The brand right here is called Woman's Work. They've got a, not a lot of nice gloves with their company. And I like the name too. And so um, here's some with the reinforced palms. You can see that it's very important to understand that the palms are going to be used quite a bit. And when you try them on, you need that flexibility because you're going to be working out there a very, very long time. Here's some other ones that are leather. You'll find these at the, um, or the hardware stores and the garden centers. Depending on the price you can afford, you're going to find the glove for you that's going to do the job. So we're teaching children to garden too. That's very, very important. And when it comes to children, um, they're just little adults is what they are. So we need to take care of them also. We need to protect their hands. We need to teach them well. And we'll teach them uh, to use the gloves because their hands will get blisters also if they're working all day with you out in the garden. There are some nice little tools for the youngsters. And then as they grow older, there's some other tools like this one right here. And um, it is a strong one. It's an adult type tool, but it's very lightweight and allows them to get in there and do the work. But we have similar um, Palms, uh, leather, here's all cotton right here. Here are the ones that have the rubber bottom. This is entirely that way. And so maybe you need two pairs. Sometimes that'll be very helpful in if one of them gets really wet, you hang it up to dry, you go out to a farm and you're gonna see that the farmer has a array of tools and uh, different types of gloves all in the same place. So when it comes to gardening, this is another tool for you. It protects your hands and it lets you garden all day long. For Backyard Basics, I'm John Dromgul. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.